Welcome, everyone. Hopefully you can hear me. I am going to do a live today. Figured I didn't have a video scheduled for today, so let's do a live instead. I've got about an hour, and we can just mess around this morning. Feel free to ask drop shipping questions, Facebook questions, or just normal questions. You don't have to do those things. That's totally cool. Right now, I am, as usual, posting in the group, letting everybody know that I'm live in the group. While we sit and wait for everybody to get in here. Good morning. It's Monday. It's 1030 where I live. I don't know what time it is where you live doesn't really matter <clears throat> all right that has been posted in the group let me push it up to the featured I need to remove some videos from the featured <laughs> there's like three in there okay all right all right, I'm back in the chat. What's up? Let's get this Wi-Fi bread. I like that. Um, are you able to get shops connected to Marketplace as of recent? How was your traffic views in your shops? How about Marketplace? Uh, most of my shops traffic sucks um, because of all the Marketplace stuff. Most of my traffic, I don't know if you saw that video, comes from Marketplace through my shop. So when Marketplace is having an issue, I'm basically getting no traffic unless I'm running ads or something. Um, can I get shops connected to Marketplace? No. Really, right now, unless you already had shops connected to Marketplace, you're not going to be able to get it connected to Marketplace until the beginning of next year. From what all the messages. I, I went through, I even went through one of my shops. I'm going to go check it now, actually. I haven't checked my shops this morning yet. Um, but my normal shop that I totally have absolutely no problems with gave me the whole, like, it's marketplace is paused for 24 hours problem and i'm like okay very useful thank you um yeah this marketplace sales channel is temporarily paused while your account is under review please allow 24 hours it's been like that for three days so thanks have you tried the no returns option for shops yet no i haven't um 11 30 here in sunshine state nice Good morning. What is the best niche to post in, in your opinion? Well, it, it to me, it changes throughout the year, but most people have a pretty consistent time with furniture. The only problem is everybody posts in furniture all the time, but the thing that's nice about furniture is that you can't really justify what a price is for something. I talked about this a long time ago in a video, but like, let's say you have like a chair or a couch. Well, not everywhere sells the same chair or couch, so it's and it's hard to just like price check those things it's, or it's harder than doing like a normal product i guess and um for the most part whatever you put as a price on there it just the person looking at it has to justify in the moment oh this couch is worth this price or this chair is worth that price or it's too much for me too little for me that's weird that price seems pretty low i wonder if it's a crappy chair or couch you know so furniture does good because um i think people price shop it less um and even if they are price shopping and comparing to different products they might only find your product that you're selling from you so uh, i don't know people have good jobs with furniture right now um i just go and sell across a bunch of a bunch of weird stuff and sometimes you get that notification that says this is in demand you should post more within this category and then i i try to do some product research within that category just to experiment some more <clears throat> all right who else makes a full-time income with Facebook? I literally stopped selling on shops. Yep. What are, what are you having more success with, free shipping or charging? So for a while, on my shop, I was doing $5 shipping across the board, and then my, my sales kind of went down. And now that I'm I'm putting more in it, I'm letting my shops just kind of do its thing, and I'm putting more energy into my marketplace right now, just like my personal marketplace. And I'm doing free shipping on that. 
So the problem is now everybody does so many different tactics. I think it's actually confusing when people go shop now because they're going to see products that have $1 and $20 shipping. And then they're going to see products that are reasonably priced with high shipping. And then they're going to see stuff that's high priced with no shipping or very low shipping. So I think to some people what they do is they see like three of the same product and three different types of shipping. And then they're like turned off by the whole thing and they just back out. But I don't know. That's not really what you asked. Um, can you hear me okay? I'm assuming everybody can hear me okay. Um, what are you having more success? Okay. On your marketplace, are you able to change the price of an item after it's gotten a sale? I mean, I use FBM Fox for that. I can change the price whenever I want. Um, I just change it in FBM Fox. FBM Fox will sync it, and then it will just add the price to whatever the hell I want it to be. Um, link is in the description of all my videos for that incorrect payouts um i don't know i haven't really been having this incorrect payout thing you guys have i won't say that i don't have it the thing is i just don't care about it so i just don't even bother checking into it um yeah my, my balance is always negative but i get payouts regularly anyway so i just stopped caring i just stopped paying attention my biggest niche to sell was shower curtains thanks mike that's helpful for everyone um, what is your recommendation till we can get our marketplaces connected to shops? My recommendation is to go back to marketplace instead of shops. Um, if you if your shops just physically or like digitally or whatever can't connect to marketplace, then cut out the middleman or, or whatever you call it. Cut out the, the the issue and just only post on marketplace because that definitely is listing on marketplace because that's what you're listing on. That's what I'm doing right now, just until the beginning of the year. I'm just Now I'm just experimenting with Marketplace more for the fun of it. My Marketplace sales have really took off in the last four days, I guess, for the Christmas rush. Maybe. That's awesome. How many shops with Marketplace are you managing at the moment? Right now, only two of my shops have Marketplace, and I have three that are, have that whole issue where it's not connected until the beginning of the year. I can't even get FB and Fox extension to work. I don't know, man. It doesn't have. I don't have any problems. People post these problems, and I don't have any issues. I download the extension, sign in, and if it doesn't work, maybe I X out of my whole window, reload it, and it just works fine. Um, with my experience, Marketplace is just as good as Shops. Good. Nice. In fact, I'm going to check my views today. Not that, even though views are annoying. I, I When people get caught up on views, it kind of sucks because they're like, like, if they're not selling anything but have 10,000 views, does it matter? No. Also, I don't have amazing views on some of my products. Like they have more than normal, but still, like this one, I'm not. I know you can't see this, but I'm looking at one that like I thought was gonna have really good views. It only has like 130, which is better than like the three a lot of people get. Uh, but I'm looking for like 10,000 or 5,000 minimum. Is everyone still only able to renew listings in? Facebook Marketplace one time. And that's not happening to me. I, I can relist, relist like normal, um, where it just does it like once a week until you're done with like the four. Mine still does that. How many new listings per day on average are you creating? Um, I don't really have a consistent amount that I post on average. Like I'll post like 20 in a day and then I won't post for like a week <laughs> or I'll post like three each day or something. It's really just what I slip in between YouTube my business, home life, and everything like it's just when I have free time and I'm like, oh, you know what? Let me list. I don't really put a number on it. I just because I can't, I can't hold myself to those. Um, if I was to recommend to you, it's still going to be the same thing we've been saying forever. I would recommend just doing like ten a day. Um, if if you just need a number, just to, just for consistency and like discipline. But I mean, with with the, uh, I'm not trying to talk just about F B and Fox today, but with that. I mean, I upload way, like I can, there was one day I uploaded like 300 things on my shop and got sales like crazy. So is there a private chat for your students, which I am. If you're in my course, you can always email me within the course um, and comment on the videos and stuff. You, that's definitely a thing. I thought about making a private group for that. Um, I just haven't though because I don't know if it's like useful to anybody because pretty much you could ask any questions in the normal group and have 
like there's over 10,000 people in the group. So you have access to not just me, but people who probably do this even better than I do. And then people who maybe sell less than you do, but found your issue and figured that issue out. So you just have more access to more people in the big group. So starting a smaller group, I don't know, would actually be better for you or not. Are you getting sales in your old misc item categories? Um, I delete all my items like at least twice a month. So I don't really have old stuff to, to answer that with because I never bother. If stuff isn't selling, I get rid of it just for simplicity. But there's an argument to be made that that's dumb and you should keep all your old stuff just in case. But I just noticed a long time ago, um, now that I have FB and Fox, it's not really an issue, but I think out of habit, I still do this. I just delete old stuff because back in the day before anything was price tracking anything, those old items would get a sale and bite me in the ass because then the prices were so different. But yeah. Do you use VA to fulfill orders? I absolutely hate fulfilling orders, but very hesitant to hire a VA. Um, I have some videos on the one time I tried to hire a VA and um, they pissed me off. So I just have never had a VA since. <laughs> I, I've never used, uh, I, and all I had them do was, um, sorry, I had a text. All I had them do was just do some product research for me. And even then I was just like, ah, I need to do it again though. It's hard for me to justify doing a VA with my shops aren't doing like stellar though. Um, why Facebook is not paying me even order has been delivered in November. I don't know. You should contact support for that, even though I know their support's an, a joke. Do you, okay. With Effie and Fox book listing, do you do your, okay. You do your much optimization on your listing. Little to none, right? Yeah. Most of the time I do none. How much I feel you, yeah, Christian. Um, I don't do much on the bulk listing side. If I, if I did bulk, like after I get done bulk listing, like let's say I add like 50 items to my FBM Fox and it auto uploads to my shop. What I'll do is I'll scroll through in my products on FBM Fox and then I will just kind of see like, ooh, you know what? Sometimes I go in and I'm like, maybe this has a better image if I think the image sucks and then I like will move a better image in and then um, I'll go check because I know that sometimes the descriptions can suck when they just bulk upload like that. And I got to make sure that different images didn't get accidentally put in there. Because, I mean, this is a bulk uploading software. Like, it's not going to be perfect. I know we, we like to complain about stuff a lot, but especially me. But it's supposed to save you time at least in, like, the big part, which is just copy-pasting each thing. I mean, even if there's issues, it's a lot faster. So I go in, try not to do too much. But if there is a product, I'm like, ooh, that might be a really good product. I might optimize that one. Um, or maybe like a handful. So I'll bulk, I'll bulk upload a bunch and then I'll fine tune like a handful. It's kind of what I like to do. And and really that's just experimenting for me because what happens is is I, I'll fine tune them and then nothing happens and I'm like, okay, I wasted my time. I'll just bulk upload. Do you think Facebook shops will have long-term viability? I have heard of amazing results for some. I do, I just think they need to figure it out. I, I've never, I don't understand how one of the biggest companies in the world can have such a, a shitty way of handling like Facebook shops. <laughs> yeah, especially when they had Marketplace to like to like play with first. I just don't, I just don't get it. Um, do you think Facebook shops will have, okay. For Amazon Fulfill, is there a workaround? Accounts get suspended with within a week and a half to back order canceled. Um, I haven't had that issue yet, so I pretty much exclusively use Amazon. I totally expect to get kicked off there at some point, but I still have yet to have that issue other than one email being like, hey, bro, you should probably stop. And I'm like, huh, no. And I just keep going. You're definitely going to see a video from me at some point where I'm like, I got kicked, guys. Oh, no. And I'm going to have a stupid little thumbnail of me crying or something. Yeah. Um, okay. How often do you bulk upload and how much? 300 from one day? Wow. Yeah, most of the time, like, if you want to sit there for, like, I'm lazy, and I don't stress this enough anymore, but, like, I'm super lazy. So I'll book bulk upload, like, I'll search, I'll do some product research, and then I'll search a certain keyword, and then I'll just bulk upload the whole page with that button that's in the bottom corner with FBM Fox. <laughs> Again, for any of you interested in FBM Fox, it is down in the description. Um, but I will just 
tap bulk upload however many products are just on the page itself and it just auto uploads all those and then I'll search another keyword that I did so before you know it sometimes I upload like 150 when I do like a session and then that session takes me 20 minutes so um, yeah that's about it how many listings do I have um, I don't have a bunch because I delete them all the time so I keep Ideally, I would love my shop to only have like 20 to 30 items in it. Um, that's where I kind of like, like my whole goal is to just bulk upload a crap ton of stuff, whatever sells keep and then get rid of the rest and then bulk upload more and then whatever sells keep. And then I just keep only keeping the things that sell until I hit about 20 to 30 items. That's my goal. Um, that's going to take a little bit, you know, if a bunch of products don't take off because product research doesn't guarantee you're doing good, but you know what would be awesome right now is if you guys liked the video. There's only two likes right now. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Anyway, yeah, I, I my my shop right my shops right now each of them have about like 150 items in them, but um, I want to cull that down to 20 to 30. Okay, let me get back to the chat. On average, how many hours a week do you spend drop shipping, uh, Michelle? I hmm. Some days I spend two hours, some days I spend 30 minutes. And then some days I don't touch it because of the, the YouTube channel and everything else. I'm like too busy doing all that. And my other stuff's just kind of doing its own thing. Um, really the most time I spend is if like a product takes off and then I have to spend a couple hours in a morning just fulfilling orders. But other than that, with the, I use FBM Fox to just do all the rest of the stuff for me. Other than fulfilling orders, of course. About how many listings do you, okay, you already answered that. Um, I am using FPM Fox and have not been able to sell one single item. I am following the 50% rule increase. Any good advice? Well, if you want, like you can go down. You don't have to do 50%. I just like to keep between 40 and 50. Um, I'm okay with 30, 35, but um, 50 is just better. The thing is, you just gotta make sure, like try listing some random stuff you would never think of to list. I mean, normal household appliances that go small kitchen appliances and random furniture and stuff, it can sell, but like everyone's selling that stuff, not that you are, but like like there have been days where I will list a bunch of stuff. And then I'll go back in the next day and I'm like, "Oh my god, this is what everybody's listing. Like this is the dumbest stuff for me to list. It was the easiest stuff for me to find." or I did a tiny bit of effort because it made me feel good like I was working real hard and then all my products actually sucked. So not that that's you, but that's me. Have you ever seen the copy listing feature on listings yet? Yeah, it's been there for about a two months on mine or a month and a half maybe. What are your thoughts about this? I think Facebook added the feature specifically for drop shippers. I don't know. I don't really know what that feature's for. Maybe, maybe. It, it kind of is dumb to me if that's the case because like, do they want to drop ship from other drop shippers on Facebook? I know, of course, that's not what that means, but I, I don't really see how that feature is that helpful. Um, the best thing is if, I don't know, I've never even clicked it. I don't know if it, if it copies the description exactly or what. So, I mean, if it does, then I guess you can copy their template better. I mean, I, I get that you could just list the same things other people are listing, but to me, what's going to happen is because of that feature, everybody who, like, all of you and I'm included people who are just like super damn lazy are just going to use that whenever they find people selling and then it's just going to flood those products and those products are going to be worthless. Yeah. Okay. Bulk listing or manual. I do both. If you have a free version of FEM Fox, can, can you, up, can you only upload 50 products? Uh, maybe I don't really know. Cause I've, I don't use the free version, so I don't, I don't really know. And the free version came out after I was already paying for it. What's the way to go? Both. Are you tax exempt on Amazon purchases? Yes, I think in all but like four states. Can we sell from Pakistan in the US with the USA account? I, I'm sure you could, but I have no idea how you'd successfully do that. Here selling in the US, there's enough problems and obstacles. I can't even imagine what kind of stuff would get you shut down drop shipping from Pakistan. So I don't know. Are you bulk uploading to shops? It, it just marketplace I'm bulk uploading to shops and manually listing to marketplace well not manually listing I'm, I'm using the list tool with FM Fox but I'm not 
bulk uploading. And then because I use the listing tool, it puts it in my products, and then it, so it automatically gets put on my shops too whenever I list a different product there. What's your favorite way to do product research? My favorite way to do product research is to just find stuff that I think is cool to sell when I'm out and about or just like rummaging through my house. Like, not that I'm like, okay, it's product research time. And then I go like shuffling through crap in my house. That's not what I mean. But like, like the other day I was just looking around in my kitchen. Like just, I was sitting there just in the morning and I was like, oh, you know what? I bet like salt and pepper shaker things would sell. Like just like novelty versions of those or anything like that. Or I'm like, you know what? Paper towel holders, like, like stupid stuff like that sells and it sells all year round because it's not like a niche and it's not very specific to a season. So yeah, I'm right now I'm focusing, especially because the holidays are about to be done. I'm going to focus more on like evergreen products, products that sell consistently rather than like products that are going to be gifts. If that makes sense. Let me get a drink. What's your favorite way to do? Okay. Have you gotten suspended before, likely due to bulk listing? I don't know, Christian. Um, have I got suspended before, likely? I, I mean, back when everybody was getting blocked on Marketplace, yeah. I mean, we I got blocked. And there's videos. Every time it happened to me, I made a video about it. So feel free to go back and watch those. But you... The likely due to bulk listing thing, that little addition to that sentence tells me that you think that you're getting blocked maybe because of bulk listing. There are plenty of people in in my comments on YouTube, in my group, everything. People who like refurbish furniture and sell locally only are getting blocked. And they're, you know, people who build stupid stuff and sell it locally, like pe people who just buy stuff from thrift stores and sell it, like that a bunch of people do that and they're getting blocked like they're running into the same issues going to google and youtube trying to find solutions coming across my videos and posting being like i don't know what drop shipping is but i'm having this problem do you know how to fix it so i i don't know i don't i think we are just like ooh, you know what i'm doing something a little icky so this must be why it's because i'm using this intrusive thing or i'm, I'm choosing to do i'm uploading too much or i'm you know, I might, I have emojis in my titles or something, or I'm using stock images. I don't think it has any, I don't, I honestly don't think Facebook's smart enough for that. <laughs> I just, at this point, I think they're too stupid and, and they don't actually know. And, and they don't really have their hands on the wheel, really. I think that's the thing. I think they're trying to, I think it keeps, the, the car keeps running off the road and they keep trying to yank the wheel. And then every time they yank the wheel, a new problem happens. That's what, that's what I think is happening. All right. Are you tax exempt on Amazon? Okay. You can't be lazy, Cameron. Treat it like a business. I have two other businesses that I have to treat like a business. This is the, the last one. So this one gets the least amount of my attention, which is why I do it lazy. And I've had plenty enough success doing it. I, I kicked my camera. I think it moved it. I'm going to see. I don't know. Okay, yeah, now I'm just watching myself. Okay. What is the Lawrence household doing for Christmas? We are, um, we've got Christmas Eve plans with family, then we have a Christmas by ourselves, and then we have the day after Christmas plans. So that's what's happening. Nothing special for Christmas. We're just going to hang out inside, open presents, just me and my wife and my dog, and, uh, Deal with it. We're gonna we're gonna watch watch movies and stuff and like eat food, I guess. How many orders on your best account are you averaging per day? Christian, sometimes I get zero orders a day. Would you believe that? I do. I get zero orders a day sometimes. And then sometimes I get forty orders a day. It's just I on average, I don't know. I mean, right now it's real slow. I've had a pretty slow last couple weeks, but um, on my best account, are you averaging per day? On my best account, I'm probably doing like 15 for sure a day. But then there are some days where it's like, it's overwhelming and I'm like, I need a VA. <laughs> like I can't do 40 fulfillments a day. Um, 
Rave Maker, I'm live, but going to start since I'm late. Sweet. Thanks. I know lives are weird because um, if, if you're, if you get in in the middle of it, you're like, okay, well, what happened before? But yeah, I don't know. I don't know the best way to handle that. What's your pricing strategy, like profit margin, or is it dollar based? I, okay. I mainly do 50% across the board. So what I do is I literally, well, I mean, FB and Fox auto marks it up, Fox auto mar marks it up for me. But what I will do is I'll just be like, let's say an items, I buy it for 15 bucks. I will just add plus 50% to that. And then I'll make it 2250 or I'll just make it 23 all round up. So that's what I do. Or what I do is depending if the product's like, if I feel I can get away with it, I just want to make sure I make at least like 15 bucks on it. So I'll just mark it up like 20 bucks because like once you find it, once everything's said and done, you get like 15. All right. Have you tried Shopify website drop shipping? No, but I'm going to, I'm definitely going to try that. And then I can make videos on it because this, this channel needs to kind of upgrade a little bit and not just be Facebook, even though Facebook's the thing. My goal is to like master Facebook. So that any problems you guys have, I have an answer, but I mean, it's, just like you guys trying to find out answers, I'm just a dude trying to find out answers too and then relay them to you. All right. Um, just started selling on Amazon. What would be a good first product to list besides books? Well, I don't sell on Amazon, but um, for Amazon, what I understand is like stupid things people have to buy all the time. Like things, no matter what, they never stop buying. Stuff like Sharpies and ChapStick and stuff like that. When you sell on Amazon, I can't guarantee that, of course. But it's like the stuff people are always going to need are like good things to like get started on Amazon. God damn it. All right. What's your pricing strategy? Thoughts on current COVID situation. Christian, what do you mean? Like, what about it? You mean, like, for selling? Or you just mean in general? Like, in the country? Like, what, what do you mean? Uh, so, Marketplace is green and enabled on your account doing for... Yes, Luke. That one is green. Well, actually, that's the one that I just... In the beginning of this video, I said it's yellow now. And Marketplace is paused. So, I haven't sold anything for a few days on that one. Hi, how many accounts can we have on Facebook? Um, I don't really know. I have two, and I just made a third actual Facebook account. And um, each of my, other than my new one, I haven't made a shop because there's no point, but I have th six shops total and only two of those work. And then the other four or three, maybe I'm, maybe it's five or six, I can't remember. Um, basically, like most of them are worthless until the beginning of the year. Raymaker, you still look so familiar. Raymaker is my dad, everybody. <laughs> Just so you know, feel free to bug him, I guess. Um, if you, if you come from Spain, should you ship in Madrid or in New York? Francisco, I have no idea. I would do New York. I would do it in the U.S. Yeah. Can I do drop shipping on Facebook in USA from... I don't, I don't know how to say that country. Um... You can try. Somebody just asked the same question about Pakistan. Feel free to try it. But again, we have enough problems here that I have no clue if that's going to work. I mean, I mean, we all can barely do it. All right. Um, can I? Okay. <laughs> LMAO. Uh, Leo, oh, on gang, none better than fulfilling them orders than big high late night. I feel you, Leo. I haven't done that, but I, I believe you. Man, I just kicked my camera again. All right. Christian, Omicron, places locking down in general, LOL. Discussion doesn't always have to be dropshipping. I agree with you. F feel free to not talk dropshipping because I could care less. I'm just, I just hopped on because I got time. So no rules. Feel free to talk about whatever you want to talk about. Um, let me make sure. Hold on. I got some. Okay. Let me get out of here real quick. Let me get back into the chat. So, um, I mean, okay, with the, with the COVID stuff, 
And now because we're talking COVID, this video is not going to get much exposure because YouTube just will suppress that most likely. But uh, places locking down in general, I, I'm pretty ready for that to be over. Um, here where I live, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, I live in Kansas, so there's a lot of uh, people who don't care about that kind of stuff here. But there's a lot of people who do. So um, I am starting to see masks wrap up or ramp up where, I, you know, I'll walk into Target. My wife and I don't wear masks and then, you know, other people will be and stuff. And um, it, it's just from what I understand, like the, the Omicron things just like, I don't know if it's not as big of a deal as the other ones, but that's from that's from what I understand. It's kind of hard to tell. All right. Um, what do you guys think about about all the COVID stuff? Locking down. Are you pretty locked down where you live? Um, let me know. Just joined, so is everybody waiting until after January for shops to be approved? Pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty much what, every, what everybody's doing. Um, thanks, man. Really inspiring content. Love from Spain. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate that. It's always weird when, when like you people from different countries comment on this stuff because, to me, it's just crazy that you even see these things. But uh, thank you. It makes me... Did you see the new Spider-Man movie? It was fantastic. Ah, keep it to yourself. I'm seeing it at 2 o'clock today. I'm seeing the new Spider-Man today. I'm pretty sure I've seen a bunch of spoilers on like TikTok and stuff, but uh, ah, looks like it's pretty cool. Everybody's saying it's great, so I'm excited. Blaze, Facebook makes me want to drink. <laughs> I have 15 shops and 14 were restricted last week. Oh my god, support is useless. I have the marketplace feature enabled on January 1st, or I hope that it is. Yeah, I hope it is too. Again, like I have a whole thing for my course that I'm trying to get started and like it just shut me down in the middle of this. Can we run a Facebook marketplace and a shop on the same account? Yes, I do that. I do personal marketplaces on both of my Facebook accounts and I have shops, so you can do both. That's not a problem. They're just, they're separate things. We're in Kansas. I'm in KC. Moving to Pensacola Beach next month. Drop shipping lifestyle. <laughs> Look, I'm in Wichita. So, yep. I probably shouldn't tell people, but I don't think it really matters. It's not like I'm giving you my address. I, I live in Wichita, Kansas. So, we're about three, three and a half, maybe four hours away from each other. How to add payment method in Canada in Marketplace. I have no idea. Um, the thing is, since I I don't deal with the other country stuff, I don't really know how to help with other country stuff. How to add payment? Okay, that's the thing I just read. I am a MBBS student and just getting started. Basic tips. Um, Umar, don't get married to your products. Just because you listed 10 things and they don't take off doesn't mean you listed 10 good things. Uh, it took me three days to make my first sale. Some people it takes one day. Some people it takes three weeks. So don't get discouraged. Just keep doing it and keep experimenting. Just like anything else that you do in your life, you're not going to be good at it when you first start. Hell, I don't feel that good at it now and I've been doing it for a year. So just, just know like you can make money from this. Just don't get in your own head about it. Just keep going. You know, If I wanted to learn to play an instrument and I picked it up for a day or even a week, I'm still gonna suck at it. That's all I gotta say. So what's the most you can make one on one account with FBM shop? I mean, there's not really a most you can make. I mean, you can make as much as your talent allows, I guess. Um, are you drop shipping anywhere else? Amazon, Shopify. No, but I do wanna do those. I do wanna get into Amazon FBA. I just wanna put some money aside to pay bulk for something so I can ship it to a warehouse and do it that way. I just haven't done that yet. Uh, will Facebook restrict you for no reason? 
I mean, yeah, they restrict us for no reason, like every day. <laughs> um, how to find best-selling items. Um, I've got plenty of videos where I talk about my best-selling items, and then you can kind of extrapolate from there little branches off of those items, which is a really good way to kind of get started. Best products that are not seasonal. Um, people love buying lamps. Yeah. I'll put that one out there. I, you guys see how I brought up COVID? Nobody wants to say nothing. to search best-selling products. Uh, Mar, I would go back and just watch some of my old videos. It's, it's a lot to get into right now. I'm just on a live without showing you a screen, but yeah. What, in your opinion, is best supplier for Marketplace? I have no idea what the best supplier is. I know that I use Amazon because it's easy and I'm lazy. That's about it. And, I mean, I, I just like Amazon. I like eBay, too. The thing is, eBay changes so much. <laughs> Rich, I gotta approve this one. There you go. I agree, Rich. Oh, huh. Do you also do crypto while drop shipping? Um, yeah, I do. I um, I wanted to make some videos on it. I did that. Uh, you know, like crypto.com is like the new one. Well, they're trying to build like a huge crypto thing here, and it's still pretty new. So I bought a bunch of like crypto.com, and I not a bunch. I I bought like six hundred bucks worth of it or something. And um, before I knew it, it was up to like 900 bucks, like within a week. So now it's down, but like when I first bought it, it went up to like 900. So I'm just holding it for now. But I don't do a bunch of crypto. I have about a thousand dollars in crypto, maybe. That's something I really want to understand, like with all the crypto and NFTs and, and metaverse stuff and all that stuff. It's like it's it's a lot to wrap your head around if you're just not naturally understanding of it. So it's definitely something I want to double like dive into more and then get into on the channel too. Can we do drop shipping as a part time business? Umar, yeah, you can totally do that. I barely do it as a part time business. I do it very little. So um, I pretty much just list whenever I have free time, and then I, if I get a bunch of orders, I make sure I fulfill them in the morning before I do any other work. So you can totally do that. Not a big deal. One thing, okay, since nobody's typing anything right now, I've said this a bunch, and I will say it again. People will just scroll on Facebook Marketplace because they're bored. Like, they will just sit there and scroll on their, on their stupid phone, bored, and they're basically like digitally garage sailing, right? Like, that's that may not be fun to you, but that's fun to a lot of people. So keep that in mind. What I like to sell are things that are stupid, small, fairly cheap, but reasonable things and people who you know some people have an addiction to buying stuff like let's just be real so i like to sell that thing that gives them that little dopamine hit when they buy it because it's an exciting new thing they're gonna get it's kind of selfish because a lot of people don't like to spend on themselves well that's not true a lot of people do but like i don't so i like to be like if somebody doesn't have much money because that's most of the, the world and then you know they're they're buying something small so Back a long time ago, you know, like one of my perfect examples I bring up all the time are those stupid little car keychains. It's like some dude loves Chevys, right? Or Fords or whatever. Like I'm a Ford person. I like Fords. But like 
let's let's see some dude like just loves Chevys. He like had an old Chevy when he got his first car, just got a new one, just got a used one. Like either way, there's just always something some dude can or or chick can like look back at and be like, oh, you know what? I really miss that car. I'm a this kind of car fan. Um, well, a little stupid leather keychain that means nothing that has the Chevy word on it or the logo. They'll be like, ooh, yeah. And it only costs them like 16 bucks to get or 18 bucks to get. They're like, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to get that. And they just like impulse buy it because they can picture it on their keys. They know that it will feel new when they get it. And it's not that expensive, but it'll kind of be fun to get. Like stuff like that. That's what I like to list because nobody's going to be like, ooh, the $16 keychain. I mean, some people will, but most people aren't going to be like, uh, let me see if I can see if this is cheaper somewhere else. Like, no, they're just bored, scrolling for entertainment, and they're like, ah, I want to get that. It's only 16 bucks. That's fine. That's only this much of my paycheck. Or I've got 16 bucks. Like, I spent that on, on fast food yesterday. Like, that's nothing. So then they just impulse buy it. I like it. All right. Um, your videos made things a lot clearer. Thanks a lot, man. No problem. Do you eBay dropship? No, but I would like to try it. How much hours we should do dropshipping in a day? Totally up to you. I barely do it. Sometimes I do 30 minutes a day, if that. Blaze is asking my dad if he dropships. <laughs> I don't know if he's still in the live. We were texting a little bit during the live. That's why every time you saw me like go down and I wasn't like saying anything, it's because I was texting my dad. Just started. My dad just started. Everybody go bug my dad. Alright. I wish I could take the camera off and then just like move it. The problem is it's not a phone. It's like a whole ass camera with a monitor and everything. So it's a whole thing. And ad break. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a hard time finding the right products to sell. Um, right now, Chainsaw stuff is doing pretty well, just so you know. Have had views in the dumps for months, but after the recent verification thing, my views and sales back up. Nice, Rich, good. That's awesome. My views haven't done much. Um, I can't say that they're spectacular. But at least on the ones that I'm monitoring, like I'm not interested in the ones that just do their own thing, but I'm interested in the stuff that I mess with. <laughs> How much investment do we require for drop shipping? Um, I did nothing. I used a credit card and then like I've never paid my own money to any of this stuff. So I don't, I use a credit card, but if you, if you're going to do the save up method, the cash method, <laughs> I, had to, I had to approve that. Um, if you're going to do the save up method, then I would suggest you have like three to $500 just because you never know if you're going to list something that blows up. Realistically, you could probably start with like a hundred bucks because you're not going to sell much, but let's say you did sell a bunch. I mean, sometimes one, like I listed a, like a toddler bed a while back, sorry, when I first started and I sold it for like 300 bucks, but I had to pay 200 for it. So I had to front the $200 up front on my card, pay for it, get the profit afterwards, which took like two weeks. And then I paid off that credit card and kept the $100 difference. So, I mean, that's the, th that's the thing. <laughs> Can't give you that family discount, LOL. Hard ass, no discounts. True. So true. Christian, what do you think about eBay as a supplier? I, eBay's good. The, the issue with eBay is that it's like I can't, I can't promise that they're gonna have what what's cool in stock for too long. Is your course free? No, uh, my course is technically 150 bucks, but um, I still have not raised the price on it for my discount code. So the code that's in my description makes it 75 bucks, and um, I think last month. 
last month I think I sold like uh, how many how many of those how many people signed up for the course last month just to give you guys an idea like if you're like interested you're not like alone 40 people signed up for the course last month so I get a few people a day sign up for the course just so you guys know like it's not like 10 people in there or five people I just want you to know like a lot of people have done the course um Pro tip, look at drop shippers on TikTok, find a similar item on Amazon and sell that stuff. Absolutely. That's why every once in a while I just kind of tell you guys something I'm selling or a category. So you guys might take that and list around that category. Not the exact thing I show you. Like those, when I release all those videos that are like, sell these items now. It's like, yeah, I do that because it's going to get people to click on them and they're, you know, they're good videos to watch to give you guys ideas. And they have helped a lot of people because people have listed those exact items and sold them. But... What they're really for is for you to look at and be like, ooh, that gave me an idea. And then go go off that idea and list from there. That's what I do. Because I don't want you listing those exact same items. You can, but just don't expect to sell them because, you know, sometimes those videos get like 2,000 views or 1,000 views. So you got that many possible people listing those things too. I mean, I'm guilty of it. Sometimes somebody's like, ooh, They'll, they'll post a screenshot of stuff that's selling, and I'm like, ooh, I'm going to sell that. And then once I do, I'm like, why would I do that? Like, this isn't going to sell. Not now. Sorry, guys, I'm out of the chat window right now. I will be back in it in a second. Okay. I'm back. Yes, sir, right on time. Dude, my house is cold. It is cold here. I know it's probably getting cold for a lot of you guys, but it's cold here. Uh, it's only 43 here, but... Last night it was like 18 degrees or something like that. Sucked. Maybe that was the night before. I don't remember. Guys, I probably won't be on much longer. So feel free to ask your last questions because at any moment I could be off. I do have one cool thing though that I think sells really well and that is going to be, um, let me find it really quick. I can't remember what it's called. Okay, I'll go to FBM Fox and find it. Host a dropshipping event in Cancun. If I get big enough, I'm not afraid to host a, an event. That's fine. Um, pretty soon, I think I am going to. Um, it's not. It's not really to help you guys, but I'm going to speak at some like little event with like a few other speakers. Um, I can't remember where it's going to be at or when, but sometime after the beginning of the year, and then um, I'll be like introducing people to this. I think, but. I would love to get to the point though where I do those like where it's like kind of a high ticket per seat kind of thing and they only do like like 30 to 50 people do you live stream a lot if so what is your schedule I'm live streaming more right now um, just because I have less topics to talk about so it's just easier for me to live stream and talk to you guys person to person so I don't really have a schedule, but I do put most of the time I post videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I'm more likely to do a live on one of those days, if that helps at all. On Wednesdays, it's go almost always going to be if I don't post a video and I do a live instead, it's almost always going to be after like 3 p.m. Central Standard. But any of the other days, it would it'd be like around this time, probably in the morning. 
Um, thanks for your help. Hope you have a great Christmas. Thanks, Wayne. I hope you do, too. Might be late. Do you use TikTok for organic traffic? I've been seeing all, that a lot lately. I want to, like, and it's so dumb because I got YouTube channels and doing all this stuff. And it's like, I want to do TikTok, but, like, at this point, I'm like, Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> it, like, makes me cringe to think of doing it. But I do need to do it. I do have a TikTok. I just don't have anything on it. Um, if you guys want to follow it just in case, feel free. I'm going to see if I can find it really quick. But. Uh, it's just, it's just like my Instagram. It's just Cameron Lawrence money. And, uh, it'll have the, the, I need to update the photo because it's the, a bald picture here. Let me edit that right now. It's the one where like I have my bald head with the blurry background, but I will change, I will change it to where it's my, my blue background hat one. But I've got four followers. I don't really have like I don't have any videos on there yet but I will at some point you guys just have to convince me to do it and all right it's updated so it should have my same photo on it also everybody beware there's been people commenting in my videos with like whatsapp numbers they're like scammy people and they're using like my image and everything so it looks like i'm commenting back to you just be aware of that like people are super scammy in the group and in stuff like i i block so many people from the group that sometimes i accidentally block important people from the group and then i have to like apologize and let them back in so just just know like be careful with some people in that group okay I'm not sure if you, what's the best product research method you use. Um, I use a mix between Google Trends, FBM Fox to verify those things, and then um, that's kind of it. Well, I, I just recently did a video where I did like a bunch of product research and I did the exact method that, I, that I'm talking about that I can't remember a piece of. Um, I do it click by click and show you. So I'd go back and watch that because that's what I like to do the most. And may I respect for you, no Facebook Marketplace shipping option in Germany. Damn it. Um, if you were in my shoes, what would you do? I don't really know what to do in that other than trying to use VPNs. And I've never done it myself. So I don't know if that's just going to get you kicked harder or not. I'm out. I have stuff to do. Merry Christmas, y'all. <laughs> nice to meet you. Raven. <laughs> nice. Blaze. Good shit. All right. I am going to go. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I will see you next time, I guess. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by.